Hi, I'm Jackson Crawford. On my channel, I talk about Old Norse stuff and sometimes about other stuff that I want to talk about. And today, I am back at Trigger Time Gun Club, my favorite indoor place in the world, experimenting with different handguns and the proposition that the archer is more important than the arrow. Basically, what I'm doing is over a period of several days, I'm shooting several different guns in random order at random targets, each at 15 yards to see if there's actually a significant difference in the group that I get out of different guns. I'm doing it across several different days so that of course, you know, the random selection of when uh, I'm shooting, you know, if, if I'm more tired or less tired, uh, ought not to affect uh, what's going on. Uh, I've gone back and forth over a few years about whether it, it, it matters which particular gun I'm shooting or not. So I just want to kind of, uh, as objectively as possible, demonstrate that uh, over this testing over the next few days. Well, I guess, so I guess what I'm wondering is, do you think that it makes a particular difference what you're shooting? Well, I, I can make the reservation for you. And right, so what makes a difference? Is it just barrel length? Because one thing that I'm discovering from my shooting is that it does definitely seem to correlate with barrel length a lot. Longer barrel pistols seem to shoot. Sight radius. Yeah, sight radius, right, right, sight radius. Right, 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 right. Sight radius. Not, not the barrel, it's the sight radius. There's right, well, okay, but yeah, barrel right. is right. indicative right. of sight radius, right? Sure. But I mean, that does seem to be fairly straightforward. Yeah. Anything else that I should try that I haven't tried in this experiment? Like, you've run all the full size guns, right? Yeah, everything that I can think of. That you, if you've had a shadow too, right? Yep, I had one. So I have a problem. Have you the, run a revolver? I'm okay, but I don't <laughs> like. I don't want to. But I don't want to shoot USB. Like it's also like okay. Do I actually want to use it in USBSA potentially? Right. Uh, right. But also STIs and CZs cut my hand right here, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of leaving them out of the equation. Okay. Hmm. But also, you know, for the wider public. I think he needs a Glock 18. The the fully automatic 17? Yeah, I do need to try that. So we've got one of those. Uh, that's just down here, right? Yeah. That's, in, that's in one of these shoe boxes. Uh -huh. Yeah. That sounds realistic. The gun that I shoot best is a gun I had not shot until this past weekend, which is the HK-45 with the LEM trigger. Okay. Second best is the P30SK, not the P30L, which is like third best, <laughs> right? Just weird stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Worst is the original BP-9 that I got. Okay. Who knows why? I don't shoot 1911s better than average. SIGs, okay. Glocks, okay. But it's it's all over the map, but it is fairly consistent for each gun, and that's and I expected either that I would see basically no correlation with the gun that would be like I shot everything well one day or everything bad one day, okay, or that I would see some way big difference between different gun types. Do you have similar sights on all of the all of the firearms? Uh, very similar sights on all the HKs, uh, which all have the sort of standard HK tritium. Okay. Night sides. Uh, actually, come to think, I guess that 45 does have uh, Heine sights that the previous owner put on, so okay. that's a little bit different. Um, I had a red dot on one of the BP9s. Okay. Still didn't shoot that as well as these hammer fired HKs. Okay. Um, and then a couple different things. Um, my old 9mm 1911 had uh, Heine sights too. I didn't shoot that particularly well, in spite of how much it cost. So, Given your testing is based on how many hit at the point of aim, are, all, are you satisfied with the zero of all of the different pistols? Well, before I shot anything on any given day, I would always shoot at the center target to see where the sights were hitting. Okay. And I would make sure it was to my satisfaction that it wasn't there wasn't some sighting problem. Okay. Yeah. So if we have one gun that's hitting a little high or a little low, that's... I would adjust for that when okay. I was... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I was very consciously trying to shoot as well as I could at each thing each okay. day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, is this, does this mirror your experience? The longer I shoot, the less difference I see between different types of firearms. Okay. Obviously, some group better than others. Uh, M&Ps don't group as well as a 1911. Uh, Glocks are better than an M&P, but maybe not quite as good as some of the other things. The best grouping gun I've ever owned was my SIG 226. Mm -hmm. 
um, the steel frame elite model. I was shooting something functionally identical to that, our, our mm -hmm. rental PG26 out there. And I shot that well, mm -hmm. but, but it wasn't one of my top ones. Okay. Oddly enough, actually, here's a funny thing. Uh, you know, I hurt my hand a few days ago. Yes. One of the three things I'm famous for at Trigger Time, and definitely the bad one. Um, <laughs> but I, so I started shooting everything left-handed for a few days. Right. The P226 is the gun I shoot best left-handed. Why? I have no clue. <laughs> but it's but it stands out. It is the gun I shoot. I definitely shoot best with only my left hand. So my personal journey with guns has been interesting. Like my first semi-auto was a Breda 92. Then I moved to uh, Glocks, then to Sigs, then mostly because so many people around here are so into 1911s and mm -hmm. 1911s. Then as that got expensive, I decided my first round of trying to be objective about this, I just kind of rented everything that we've got to rent. Mm -hmm. And although I wasn't taking the numbers down like I am now, I thought that the BP9 was what I shot best. Mm -hmm. So I got one. And actually, my best scores in, in our league nights so far have been with that. Um, but then, during my objective testing over these last two months, the original BP-9 I bought is the gun out of everything that I shot the worst. Really? Isn't that the weirdest thing? Because I like it, right? I mean, the controls really appeal to me. Mm -hmm. But I was actually not shooting as well as anything else. Then, um, after I got that Nemo that was bronze, I thought, oh, I'll get the bronze... BP9, just right. out of vanity, I guess, it'll match. And I took that out, and I shot that twice as well as the first BP9 I had. And I have no clue why. They're the same thing, right? It still is only, it's not still not even up to, like, my, my median okay. scores. But So it's still not a gun that I shoot great, but between just two guns of the exact same kind, I shot one noticeably better than the other. Mm -hmm. And then I see some difference with, um, uh, with the, the BP9 SK and the P30 SK. I see a difference with which magazine I'm using because that changes the grip quite a bit on those. Oh, do you have different bore plates on the different? Yeah, okay. yeah, that does change uh, that quite a bit. And those, and I shoot those pretty well. In fact, I shoot the the P30 SK better than the BP9 with a red dot or the BP9 L. Okay. I don't know. I guess it balances well. Like I, I don't have a theory about why this works, mm -hmm. but all I have is data about how I've shot, and it's not at all what I was expecting. Okay. That's pretty much the, the, the executive summary of this. Do you have any thoughts about what that might explain why it happened the way it happened? I would be curious to know if in another couple months, if the data changes. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep tabs, yeah. I shoot a wide variety of firearms between test firing things for customers or sure. checking the zero for customers. When you shoot something you are not used to, you do have to concentrate more. And I'm curious because the ones that you're shooting better are things that you've had for a shorter period of time. That's true. Do you suppose that it's forcing you to concentrate on your form? That is possible. That's very possible. So I'd be interested to know if the data points change in another month. Hmm. Well, yeah, I will be too. That's a great that's a great point. Actually here's another thing that I did conclude. How expensive a gun is has nothing to do with how much. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> I wish I'd known that so, a long time well, ago. <laughs> there's a flip side. I have a lot of friends who um, were previously shooting things like Glocks and MPs and competition, and the CZ 75 pattern guns, the Shadows, yeah. Yeah. have become very popular. My friends all bought CZ 75s which caused them to practice a lot more because they had a new cool gun. Right. And they did become better shooters. But I don't think the gun made them a better shooter, but the gun certainly did encourage them. A new toy certainly encouraged them to practice. Yeah, I, I believe that's true. I if I, have, if I can be vain, I feel like that's less true about me because I'm here shooting a ton every week no matter you what are. I'm shooting. You are. You, do, you should probably shoot more than I do. But <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, <laughs> I guess. Although I guess my results aren't as good as yours, but oh, uh, I shoot for a few years. Yeah, but I mean I shoot a lot. Mm -hmm. It has nothing. I mean, like I shoot things I've had for a million years, or well, objectively twenty eight years. Right. Um, and stuff that I got you know, this weekend. Um. But but yeah, expensiveness. I mean, obviously, I don't think that like a diamond back is going to shoot 
No. Amazingly well or something. But... No. And you buy something very nice like a Nighthawk Custom. They are fit better than a Springfield Armory, but in the end, it's functionally the same thing. Yeah. And the thing is, I mean, you know, I spent that money on that. You know, I made that what I now regard as kind of a rookie mistake, thinking this will shoot better. Well, they do I, shoot very nicely. Okay, it shoots comfortably, mm -hmm. right? But I mean, uh, the the one that I shot best, the Nighthawk Custom 10 mil, mm -hmm. that Heine long slide, still, I get FTEs constantly for that. Like, there's still mechanical issues that you can have with super expensive guns, and they're not, mm -hmm. at least if what you're going for is this kind of accuracy testing, they're not remarkably different from anything else. The, the overriding limitation on group size for shooting handguns is the shooter. Yeah, oh, I believe a, it's the archer, not the arrow. Yes. You know, standing out there on the lanes with somebody else and someone saying, hey, I want to try your thing. And I say, well, I'll try your thing. And <laughs> I'm getting way better groups than they're getting with their own gun. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, obviously the person, mm -hmm. the, the archer is more important than the arrow, but the arrow has something to do with, with, which, with the final product. I, I don't, I'm not a real handgun. That's the problem. Okay. I mean, a handgun accuracy to me is well, a bolt action handgun. Right? <laughs> and I should hit a guy. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. And you, you would go under the lane rather than the 